go. And here we are in Hall 4.0. Uh, we're at Veronica and myself, we're just walking through uh, 4.0. And it was such a good discussion, we thought we'd have a, a Facebook Live. So yes. nice to meet you, Veronique. Nice My name's Ben. You. Nice to meet you. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from France, but uh, I live uh, six months a year in uh, Miami. But uh, you can see that my English is not very good, but I try to be day by day better and better. But no, my main place is south of France, near Avignon. Mm. So you go to Miami for the good weather and stay in France no, for summer, is that the...? No, not at all. I am in France for the winter and I am in Miami for the... You're doing something wrong there, I think. So you're, you're a trend expert and designer yourself. Yeah. Have you seen some things this year at Ambiente 2018 you'd maybe like to share with our viewers? Yes, yes. Uh, many things. Each show is very interesting. Ambiente is very, a very upscale show. But uh, you can see a lot of lot of bright color like that and a mix between very block and solid colors with some patterns so the, maybe we can spell that the blush pink with a green with a little gray and mix with black is very very trendy and very useful today it's also it's also flat packed as well yes. so it's like a unique design with the new modern colors simple in the scandinavian maybe scandinavian shapes is always a good idea today mm -hmm. and uh, you can mix it with some tropical plants we can it's almost every stand has got plants haven't they it's very very yeah, it's very with big leaf and uh, gr any shade of, gr of green mixed with ratoon furnitures uh, very wild wood very uh, light wood and uh, as much as you put plants in your interior, as much is better. And why, why is that? I think it's about ecology and the new mind about to uh, feel more in good balance with nature. And we want to have a house simple, but maybe more natural and maybe more cozy. And you're seeing more and more of that this year at the Ambiente 2018? Yes, yes I think it's today is very, very a big trend. Mm -hmm. And have you seen uh, anything else which you maybe you say, hey, this year I've seen, uh, you, you've seen certain colors around? We say that the colors of the year is Burgundy, in French it's Lis de Vin. Mm -hmm. It uh, means like it's the colors of the wine, the white wine. And... Uh, Typical <laughs> French, everything's about the wine. French. <laughs> and Burgundy could be used indoor and outdoor. And you can put it on your wall, paint your wall in very matte burgundy, it's always elegant. And for tableware, glassware is very a good idea. Yeah. Well, you're actually saying glassware. I mean, uh, you're in, re in, in relationship with the Ritzenhof uh, stand. And I think if I look at the stand here, it looks very different to what it did last year. Yeah. And can you say a few words to this? And we've, got, we've actually got Christian, uh, Christian Seeger here, who's also the head of the design team, who had good, a good day, sir. How are you, Christian? Uh, ben Wilson well. from Hi, Facebook nice Live. Um, we're just having a great discussion about general trends, and we've arrived here at your stand. Yeah. Can you maybe say a few words about the things you've been working on the last few years with, uh, with Ritzenhof? Oh, the last few years? Yeah, you mean the last 26 years since we <laughs> created the brand? Well, yeah, no, it's been quite quite a while. I mean, we had a pause for 10 years, but being back since a year and a half and now doing the whole revival of the brand, and th that's a quite exciting thing. I mean, as a design consultant, who we are, you don't get that chance uh, so often to really re-vibrate and, and to really um, yeah, bring a brand uh, to a new design level, and that's what we managed to do. Well, can you maybe walk us through a few areas here? We've got some, some great uh, imagery and some graphics being used very, very provocatively. Say a few uh, words about that for me. Yeah, why not? I mean, uh, we don't want to be extra loud. We just want to make sure that people recognize that the um, change has happened and that we are really moving into the next 25 years now. And so we really did a whole relaunch on four collections in last year, this year again, four mm -hmm. collections. So it's all about high-end glassware, cool design, drinking elements, new ideas of packaging, getting a new quality feel right into the whole uh, world of gifts and uh, making sure that people enjoy the time while they're here on the stand, getting a good drink, enjoying gin tonics, whiskeys, etc. You just said the trend, I mean, like here I see the word gin tonic, I mean, it's a trend drink. <laughs> and now and you've got your own product, for, uh, obviously, for gin tonic as well. Uh, we obviously have one, and I think it's really unique to that extent that we have a chrome beaker out of glass, oh, wow. uh, which I'd like to show you. If you That'd want. be great, have you got one there? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think this is something that uh, people haven't seen so far. It is a, yeah, sure. 
It has a slight transparency, but it's uh, chrome-plated, and uh, we decided to give the designers only two colors, but to uh, make sure that they come up with individual solutions, very simple ones, highly complex ones like Studio Job, and that is something which is a very rewarding moment for us also, attracting names from Eric Spiekerman, Studio Job, Tina Banning, it's, it's really the who is who that we bring together. When I look at the, the I'll say the, the Ritzenhoff world which I know, which is more the sort of metallics and blacks and the printed uh, yeah. glasses, I think the contrast of material you're working with here is a step change, really, really impressive. Uh, yeah, it was about time to rethink and re-question ourselves, I mean, being in charge of the first shapes 25 years ago we said, okay, even the beer glass, such a classic thing, needs to yeah, start over, champagne glass being in, in a very new setting. And I think this is something that people are appreciating that we come with a different viewpoint. You actually mentioned some designers, I've actually, we, we've, yeah, we've oh, you, you, you were, here, so yeah, you were so kind, yeah, Virginia. you were so kind to organize a couple of designers for us to talk to. Yep. We've met Veronique, um, and who have we got over here? Hello, back again, nice to see you again. <laughs> and who have we got here this time? Virginia. Hello, Virginia. How are you? Hi. I'm Ben Wilson from the Ambienta Facebook Live team. Uh, I heard just from Christian, you're actually one of the designers of some of the new uh, lineups here. Can you maybe tell us a few things about yourself and also about the products you've designed? Sure. Um, I'm actually a fashion illustrator. Oh. Yeah, uh, but a uh, couple of years ago. <laughs> I'm just being attacked by a plant above. So that's like. Yeah, but it, this is the thing you make beer with, so it's a, oh, it's a nice cool. plant. I like that plant. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I started to to work for Rittenhof a couple of years ago, and actually that was my my entrance to the ambiente. I didn't know the ambiente before. Oh, really? Yeah, and they invited me to the party they do every year for the designers because. How do you get an invite to a party like that? Because I was already a designer. Oh. I have to say. And this is okay. Rittenhof shouldn't <laughs> listen, but <laughs> they, 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 they treat really well the, their oh. designers. So they organize a party for us, and so they invited me, and I was like, okay. Then I go, and I discovered the ambiente for me. It was like a whole world that opened. Cool. Yeah. And your product is somewhere here in this walls. I take yeah, it. We have a couple of them here. Over the years, I have made I think about twenty products okay. for them. Wow. But very, very busy. Yeah, but you see, they have really a big range of uh, of, of products and, and products, and, and also a big range of different uh, optics and aesthetics, which, which I love because there's like something for everybody. And this, see, this is a glass for smoothies oh, wow. that I Ooh. made this year. <laughs> my kid, my kids would love that. Yeah, it's it's nice, right? And uh, the special thing about this or this whole series is that they. Actually, you give it as a gift for people who make their own marmalade or their own whatever, and they have then a nice glass to give their marmalade away. Is that you? That's me. What a great photo. Yeah. Sit on the, on the uh, I'm not sure you sit on, on live, but there she is. That's me a couple of years ago, but okay. <laughs> not very long ago, I'm sure. No, and I also have here two glasses I, I did last year uh, for macchiato. Mm -hmm. So these are... Double, double walled, walled yeah, yeah that, so that you don't burn your fingers but your lips. <laughs> <laughs> and the coffee stays nice and hot. Yeah, yeah, and see, you don't, you have another one here. This one is from Veronique, I think you, you talked to, you talk to Veronique before, before, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Now, can you maybe say a little bit about this? I mean, let's go for a walk. I mean, please join me. The stand itself, I love the contrast of this sort of very homely feeling. Yeah some of the sort of, I'll say, not non-typical uh, Ritzenhof uh, yeah. products on the shelves. And the way it's presented is very unique, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, in my first life, I used to be a, an architect for a fair trade. Yeah. Oh. So I really appreciate the, the magic they do here with this very elegant and, 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 and like light aesthetic where the whole colors and patterns and motifs of the of the Rittenhof world really can come to light. Come to light. Yeah. Well, that's that's what's so special. When I walked up to here, I saw one logo on a big black wall, yeah. and all you all the pops is the product. Yeah. The products yeah. really yeah. do stand yeah. out. Yeah, but on the other hand, the booth itself has also a character. It's it's not like I don't know, just a, a blank uh, surface where you can put the glasses on, uh, and the the bar is the star, which I also <laughs> find. The because bar is a star, especially at six o'clock at no, night no, on a Saturday. No, because of the glasses, that's that's why. Oh. <laughs> so, um, 
Next door, one of the, one of the neighbours here is called Blumus, and uh, I had the pleasure to meet one of the new creative directors uh, at Blumus. Would you like to join us and go and, go and meet them over there? I think they are here. They are. I found them. So, actually, hello. We had a brief moment to meet before, and this is the new creative director of, uh, of a Blumus. So, Ben Wilson's my name from uh, the Ambienta Facebook Live team. What was your name, and can you maybe tell us a few things about what's been happening at Blumus the last uh, few years? Yes, I would love that. My name is Charlotte Torhaugebeck. And uh, well, I was um, hired in March last year for Blomus uh, uh, to make this sort of version 2.0, if you can say that. Blomus is very much known mm. for um, stainless steel, glass, silicone items. And uh, we thought that it was now time to open up for other materials. So uh, that's what we have been doing. Well, can, we go for, can we go for a walk? Yes. Just to stick to all the things, things you're describing, I want to see more. Yes, but I'm sorry that we are a little bit messy because we're having a party. That's fine. <laughs> Six o'clock, of course, party time. Yes, yes, there is a party time here. So uh, there's the booth is here. We have the 300 square meters. And uh, this is some of the new line you can see where specifically the things yeah. about, uh, you know, mixing materials when you see the table. We have a new tabletop line. And the idea is really uh, when you have the stainless steel, which is a really nice material. Can we go over here on the shelves? What are we seeing? It looks like bathrooms type uh, products. Bathroom, yes, and uh, Blomus has been known for bathrooms, specifically in stainless steel, for a couple of years. <laughs> so we thought it was now time to enter new material, which is um, uh, it's ceramic and then it's a silicone covering. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very soft and you have the silicone lid, so it's sort of a rubberized finish. And then we made five colors, uh, entering into more colors uh, for Blomus. Is this a glaze or is this a soft touch finish on the outside? It's a soft touch finish on the outside. So yeah. In combination with the actual soft touch yeah. silicon, yeah. instead it goes together like exactly. two peas in a pod. Wow. And then, you know, mixing with the material with Materazzo, stainless steel, you have smoke cork, uh, which you can mix and match things in your bathroom, you know. And so I think the whole point is actually having. You know, the stainless steel as a core thing, which is still Blomus, but then entering within new materials. Well, and how's the venture going? Was it, was it a, 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 a very challenging process or was it a fun process? How, much, how did the process actually look like? Work has to be fun. <laughs> Work has to be fun. Else, yeah. So it has been really fun. But it's also like, you know, two planets. Uh, because being from Scandinavia or Denmark. And that was my next question. Where are you from? I'm co from Copenhagen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and and of course uh, things uh, uh, we are different mentalities, and uh, but but the way that we work together has been really fun. It has been really um, sort of like a fun journey. Of course, there has been times where we disagreed on things. Uh, Change is sometimes hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one planet is stainless steel, and I'm coming from completely different materials, and has to mix and merge this, but worked out fantastic. So in 11 months we uh, are here now uh, with this booth and completely new setup. Um, this is also a good example of, of having a, a, a way to display differently that always helps a little bit, you know. Uh, again, mixing materials, having the smoked wood, bringing in textiles and uh, I would actually say the line that we have over here has been a really success and also the tabletop line um, and together with uh, the scented candles also which again it's sort of you you know you have you take a product which is a very feminine thing and uh, you put it in concrete then it gets more masculine but then you again you can play with the colors so it's also the challenge between you know feminine masculine and and Blomus, we still want to be very stringent, minimalistic, uh, cut to the edge, a good quality uh, level, and uh, you know, then mixing it up with a little bit more feminine things. Um, I'm reading through the lines there a little bit, but I, I love it. I'm, I'm really quite impressed, again, the, the contrast to last year and where you've come from and the journey. It was spectacular. Congratulations on all your efforts. It's been lovely to meet you. Enjoy the, rest of the sh enjoy the rest of the show. Maybe we'll come back next year to see what's changed again. Yeah, well, a lot of things uh, in the pocket. Do you say that? You know, a lot of new things coming on. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, a collaboration with uh, Quadrat, and uh, we do some uh, other new interesting new things. Yes, lovely. So well, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the ambiente, and uh, hope to see you again sometime.
Thank you. Bye. Well, there we have it. We met lots of really fantastic designers, uh, game changers in the form of an entire new corporate identity and product line from Bloomers. Oh, it's six o'clock, been a great day. I'm looking forward to tomorrow and I think it's beer o'clock. Have a great afternoon or oh, evening, bye. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you.